I was really scared that I couldn't be a mom. I was really depressed and I was always in pain. I couldn't do things like hold my son or lift him much uh, without pain or needing to put him down after a few minutes. And so I felt like I got to miss out on a lot of the things that a healthy mom would be able to do. My diagnosis came after the birth of my child. Uh, I had been experiencing a number of years prior to that pain and the symptoms that I had during my pregnancy just kept getting worse and worse. And so I knew of rheumatoid arthritis because I had an aunt who lived with it. And so I asked my family physician for a rheumatoid arthritis test and a few weeks later I was diagnosed. I started tracking my arthritis symptoms probably about in my second year. I felt like I couldn't really quite understand or navigate living with this condition, especially the fatigue part and how easy it was to be triggered into a flare. Um, so I wanted to know what I was doing, which was going to be good for me and what was not going to be good for me. So I started tracking my health, uh, all my symptoms from my sleep to my mental health, to my menstrual cycle, to pain and fatigue and stress to see how it would impact my overall health and how much I could do in a day. And then I started to track how much, like my physical activity and to see like when I overdid it or when I underdid it. When people track their symptoms and their disease activity over time, it gives a rich picture for them to be able to communicate with their healthcare providers and so, you know, having this information, health professionals can also recommend and tailor their treatment recommendation a lot more precisely based on the person's need. For people with arthritis, there are certain things that would help individuals to understand whether their condition is under control or not. Things that would um, help them to understand the relationship between how they feel and what they do during the day. So that, that's specific for people with arthritis that they want to track and, and monitor over time. A healthy person can get so much done in a day, but there's only so much that I can do, and I often have to pace myself and prioritize what I'm gonna do in that day. And with tracking, I can tell if I'm having a really hard time accomplishing things, um, or if I'm you know doing better than normal. There's many different ways that I do track my health. Um, Sometimes it needs to be in the moment, you have to write it down somewhere. And then I have a calendar that I write out and I write, you know, if I have a really bad day, I might kind of highlight it and say this was a bad day so that I can keep track. And then, you know, writing down if the days that I did exercise, uh, knowing I'm keeping up with how much I'm supposed to be doing. There's various apps that I could use. I use a Fitbit. Being physically active is important because it helps to help individuals to manage the symptoms. Better. Maintaining a good level of um, physical activity and using targeted therapeutic exercise can help to keep the muscles strong, keep the joint flexible, and reduce the, the, the level of stiffness and pain that the person may experience. People also find that when they're physically active, the medication works better for, um, for, for them to control the symptoms and the disease activity. Using a wearable device to be able to see the uh, individual's physical activity performance, plus the counseling of um, a physiotherapist. We're able to help individuals to increase their physical activity over time and develop a habit. Since 20, 2014, we've worked with patient partners in um, looking at strategies to enable individuals to be able to keep a record of their symptoms and physical activity and use that information to work with their health professionals. Tracking my health has been extremely beneficial when it comes to communicating with my healthcare professionals, whether that be an occupational therapist, rheumatologist, or physiotherapist. Um, I'm able to tell them, you know, how long I've been experiencing symptoms or how long I've been feeling good or kind of tell them, you know, this is exactly what I'm doing in a day. I feel that arthritis research is important because 
I wasn't really finding the answers or support that I needed about exercise anywhere else when I went to other clinics um, and places, especially since doctor appointments are often very short and there's long wait lists. So I thought what were some ways that I can learn more about my condition and how to manage my condition. And that's why arthritis research is really important to me because it is an avenue for me to learn more about my disease and more techniques on how to take care of myself.